In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to apply a drop shadow to your text in the HitFilm Express Video Editor. Now, the, what, what you want to do is first make a text layer. I already made this text layer, but if you need to make a new layer, you can click this new layer button and choose to make a text layer like that. You can just left click that. So since I already have this text layer, what I want to now do is find the shadow um, shadow effect. Now there's a uh, drop shadow effect. Now there's a couple of ways you can do that. Uh, you can see already that uh, I've already found the drop shadow. Uh, if you want to do this very quickly, you would use the search bar over here and just type in shadow. That's just really the simplest way. And you'll uh, notice that this is under the generate folder, which is right over here. See? So go ahead and choose drop shadow. Where is it? Right over here. Left click, hold, and drag it to your text layer. And you'll already notice that there's a very slight drop shadow over here. But it's not very substantial or noticeable. To make it more noticeable and more substantial, you go ahead and uh, go to the Controls tab, go ahead and um, click the caret uh, icon, and you have a couple of options you can play with here. Uh, 7.5 is okay, uh, is an okay distance. If you want to uh, change the distance, you can scale this up like that. This is uh, this is something you may want to do if your text is actually bigger. But since my text isn't that big, uh, 7.5 or maybe 8 pixels is uh, really all that I need. You'll also notice that the drop shadow is um, going downwards. If you want to change the angle of the drop shadow, I recommend just manually um, using this um, wheel over here to change it to uh, your desired uh, angle. I'll go with something like this, personally around uh, 140 degrees, 145 degrees. I'll actually change. Yeah, something like that. This is fine. And the next thing you need to do is uh, change the opacity if you want it more noticeable with the eye. So you would change this to something like uh, 0.75 maybe. I think that's a good, um, a good amount. And finally, um, you can choose the scale of the drop shadow, which makes it bigger, like so. Honestly, I won't mess with that. Uh, whatever I did, this is really all that you need to do to have a substantial uh, drop shadow effect on your text. So thanks for listening. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. I'd appreciate it if you like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye.